What's going on guys? Making this quick little video here with this Naze 32 Afro Flight controller from Hobby King. I'm going to go over how to connect all these wires. There has been some questions. Uh, it's not very straight, straightforward in the manual on how to connect all these wires. Uh, but I'm going to go over it today in case anyone gets this flight controller and they just can't seem to figure it out. So uh, I have the arrow right here. It's pointing to the left. So the, that's the front of my quad. So let's go over these wires here. So all these pins right here correspond to the motor connections. So the the first connection you see right here with the brown wire, that's actually motor one. And then going off to the right, you have motor two, three, four, five, and six. I only have four motors connected because this is a quad, uh, but that's how you connect that. And uh, you don't need to connect all three wires um, on each pin. You just need the, the signal wires. And, uh, but for this one, I have a motor three right here actually has all three wires connected to it because that's how it comes off of the Q-Brain. Okay, so motor three just happens to be uh, the one with three wires. And uh, originally when I connected this thing, I didn't have the motors corrected, connected in the right order. And, um, and the way I figured that out was to come over to uh, Clean Flight. I'm not using Base Flight firmware with this flight controller I'm using clean flight and um, so using clean flight you can actually control each motor one by one one at a time you know spin each motor individually and uh, you know just to verify that everything is connected and and uh, so what I found when I did that was when I tried to spin up motor one you know motor four was spinning for example or when I spin motor three motor two was spinning up for that example so so I had to redo these wires, put it in a different order, and I got it to work correctly. It's a good thing I did that because I wouldn't have flown very far if I had took it outside and had the motors connected in the wrong place. Uh, so coming over to these other pins here on this side, we have uh, the first pin on the left, the upper left pin here, is going to be your negative or your ground. That's where the brown wire was connected. And uh, the second pin is your positive. And third pin is channel one. And then you have channel two and three next to that. So you actually see the numbers on there, one, two, three. And then going to the row of pins below that, you have channels four, five, six, and seven. So um, I'm actually using all seven channels on this. Uh, just have it set up so that I can control different switches on my Turnigy 9XR transmitter. You, you know, you could change the flight mode, you can uh, switch the buzzer on and off, um, you know, different things. And then, so these wires are going into my receiver here. So, so for the first pin right here, the negative, positive, and channel one, I have all three wires connected like that, going into channel one. And then uh, channel two through seven are connected just with one single wire. Just just the signal wire is all you need uh, to get this thing going. And uh, so channel one through four is going to be uh, aileron, elevator, throttle, and then channel four is rudder. Has to be in that order. And then so channels five, six, and seven uh, go to different switches. The auxiliary. Uh, functions in clean flight and then for channel 8 on this receiver which is not related to the flight controller but I'm using channel 8 on my receiver to control the gimbal all right so taking a look at these last pins here the pins that are on the left the two left pins here on the left side are for uh, FR sky telemetry as far as I know as far as the manual says which I'm not going to be using uh, the second or middle two pins right here is for the buzzer and then the two pins on the right side are for battery voltage monitoring which I'm not going to be using. I have battery voltage monitoring set up uh, plugged in directly to my uh, D8R2 Plus uh, these two wires right here and uh, so I got the little, uh, little screen connected on my transmitter that'll tell me the voltage and, um, and then I have this mounted to this frame using just a couple of short standoffs, which uh, mounting it like this actually does not perfectly center it on the frame, but it's, it's pretty close. 
I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. This is actually how I bought this quad. Uh, when I bought this quad, it came with this flight controller. And, uh, you know, supposedly it flew nicely. Um, that's how I have everything connected here. Let me go ahead and plug this in here. So something that I did not do correctly when I first connected these wires is uh, co connect the uh, these motor wires in the correct order. So um, previously I was using a NASA M light, which uh, the the order of the motors is different than um, on the NAS32. So this is what it looks like. Here's, uh, you can see the motor layout right here for the NASA. Motors one, two, three, and four look like that. And then here is clean flight. If I go to the motors tab, that's the order of the motors there. So a little different. You have to put the wires in a different order. And um, the way I figured that out is I ran each motor one by one just by moving these sliders up and down to check that you know each motor was spinning. If I told motor one to spin, you know motor one was actually spinning. And uh, it wasn't like that when I first connected everything, but I had to switch these wires around here in order to get that uh, to, you know, function properly. So that is pretty much it as far as my NAS32 wiring. I know the manual isn't very straightforward this, with this, so uh, I decided to make this little video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.